the dream. Before the video starts, I would like to tell you about Luger.gg. It's a website where you can buy Murder Mystery 2 items for very cheap. When you have completed your order, all you have to do is click here to claim your item. Then you just follow the instructions to claim your order. And then you will receive your item. It's so easy, it's so quick. Recommend. Hi guys and welcome to a new video. In today's video, I will be giving you 10 tips and tricks for when you are sheriff in Murder Mystery 2. I really hope and I really think these tips and tricks are very important to think about and it might, you know, get you better or just make you a pro at the game. Tip number one, when you are the sheriff, never show your gun. Of course you have to show the gun when you are shooting, that is understandable, but never show your gun otherwise because the murder will target you okay the murder is right here uh i'm giving out tips while i'm about to die just letting you know never show your gun to anyone not even your friend because if the murder knows you are the sheriff they will target you because you as sheriff is the most important person in the game because you are the only one who can end it for the murder so of course they will target you if they see your gun okay let's see the sheriff is right here and also okay oh let's go okay Tip number two, watch out from everyone. You don't know who the murderer is, it could be anyone. So watch out from everyone. But at the same time, do not make it suspicious. If you make it suspicious, they might suspect you of being the sheriff if you avoid people too suspiciously. So don't make it too suspicious, but avoid people. Sometimes the murderer can even trick you and walk past you multiple times to gain your trust. So you really think they're not the murderer because they're not killing you but in the end they will actually kill you so don't trust anybody never and avoid everyone okay i see a gun tip number three you need to remember that your first mission as a sheriff is to figure out who the murderer is. You need to sneak around to figure out who the murderer is. Never ever hide. Nobody can save themselves. You are the only one that can save everybody. You cannot be the one hiding when you're a sheriff. And if you hide and you die, you ruin it for everybody. Nobody will be able to find the gun. If you are hiding and you die, Nobody will be able to find the gun because it's hidden. Do not hide. You need to sneak around to figure out who the murderer is. For example, you can figure out who the murderer is just by looking at the dead bodies. If you see a body burning, somebody with the fire effect is the murderer. If you see a body totally green, somebody with a radioactive effect is the murderer. So just be smart, sneak around, look at the bodies, look at the effect. If somebody has a ninja, you don't hear the kills, so you need to think about that. You know, that kind of stuff, you need to be sneaky, you need to be smart, you need to figure out who the murderer is, okay? Tip number four. Even though you think you know who the murderer is, you never shoot until you see a knife. Because it's a big chance it can be the wrong person. And you know, it's not very fun to be shot, and it's not fun for you to shoot the wrong person either. So even though you suspect someone, because they might be running after you or somebody just might be super suspicious do not shoot them until you see the knife okay do not shoot until you are super sure that the person you think is the murderer is the murderer so don't shoot until you are 100 percent sure don't shoot until you see the knife it's kind of funny how i am talking like an idiot and at the same time playing this game uh, and i actually got a hero win every round so far which is crazy Tip number five, when you are aiming, do not stress. Stress will probably lead you to shooting random shots and just hoping that you with some luck would hit the murder, but it doesn't work that way. You need to be, stay calm and aim. And when you are aiming, it's very important that you predict where the murder will be. Huh? For example, if the murder runs side to side in front of you, you need to aim where you think the murder will be the next second. If I run like this, the murder should aim right here to be able to hit me. If I run here, you should aim in front of me to hit me. And if I'm jumping, you should like try to predict where the murderer is going to jump, where he's going to run. 
an aim where you think it's going to be the next second. It's very hard to think, but you will learn and it's gonna come naturally when you play the game. You're just gonna try to predict where you think the murder will be to be able to hit them. <coughs> Whoa! Oh, tip number six. When you are the sheriff and trying to aim for the murder, never stand still. I know it's very hard to do multiple things at the same time, like shooting, moving, thinking, predicting, all that. It's, it's very hard, I get it. But if you stand still, it will be so easy for the murderer to either catch up with you and stab you, or just throw the knife at you. So never stand still if you want to survive, okay? It doesn't really matter how you move, as long as you don't move towards the murderer, obviously. But if you just make any confusing movements, it will make the murderer more scared of you or more nervous and harder to hit you. So any movement will really help you. So you don't have to overthink it. Just just move, just run in a circle. Just like jump everywhere, you know, as long as you don't spam jump, of course. Just do any movement and it will help you survive, I promise. Tip number seven. At the same time as you're thinking about how you should aim and how you are going to predict the murder and all that, you also have to think about the murder's predictions about you. How they are predicting your movements because they are thinking a similar way as you are. So you're gonna wanna try to make very weird movements and like try to make not very predictable moves so the murderer will not be able to kill you. For example, when you're running in a corridor like this, you don't want to run like this, it's super predictable. They will get you. You want to run into the wall. It sounds so stupid, but to avoid the knife, Bruh. I just died. Just like run into the wall, jump up to the roof, like do stuff they would not think you would do. Be unpredictable to avoid a throwing knife. That was a quick murder round, wow. Ooh, we are sheriff. We are sheriff in my sheriff video. Oh my god. Okay, we got her. That's a perfect timing for tip number eight. Do not panic shoot. Do not shoot as many shots as you can. I know many people do this when they are chased by the murderer and they are super nervous. They just don't want to die. So they just shoot so many randomly shots to not die. Not shooting for a while is actually a really good tactic because it will give you time to think, calm down, and predict the murderer's moves at the same time as the silence of no bullets will make the murderer super nervous <laughs> and it's gonna be easier for you to hit them. It's getting to an end, you guys. We are now at tip number nine. If you die as sheriff or die at all, do not be mad or sad. You learn from your mistakes, so just because you didn't win, it doesn't mean it's bad. You learn more from your mistakes than you learn from your victories. So you should see your defeat as your prize because you are getting better. And being mad or sad about something in a game might make you like the game less. You can only have passion for something you love doing. If you don't love it, you're not gonna have any passion. It's not gonna, it's not gonna help you because passion for something really makes you better as well. It makes you wanna be better, which makes you better. So you're gonna wanna love the game. Do not let yourself be mad or sad about a defeat, okay? Tip number 10. If you win or lose, don't be an a okay? Don't say easy. Bruh. Don't say they were huh? bad or whatever. Don't say anything like that. Just say GG. Just say good game or just say nothing. I don't know. Just don't be an asshole. Don't sit on the body. Don't dance on the body because that can seem as super rude. So don't do that. It's just really not necessary and just kind of stupid. So please try to avoid being like that. That is actually all the tips I had for Sheriff for today and that's all I had for today's video. I really hope these tips and tricks will work for you because I really took my time to write these down for you because these are things that really helped me myself. Um, so I hope they can help other people too. I will probably in the future make more videos like this one, like tips for murder and innocent as well. So please stay tuned for those because I will definitely be doing that. But otherwise, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day or night and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.